Hello friends, hi, this is Swarab here and today I am going to give you a short description about a virus or a computer virus I would rather say. Uh, we all consider any kind of malware as a computer virus but there is a difference. A computer virus and other malwares are very much different. Today I am going to give you a short difference about a virus and other malwares. Now first let us understand what is a malware. Malware means a malicious ware or a malicious software. Malicious means a software which can harm your computer system or your data. Now virus is one kind of a malware. So <clears throat> as we say the full form of virus is vital information resource under siege. That means it captures your vital information resources. A virus is different from a worm. A virus is different from a Trojan horse. How? A virus has a capability to attach itself to some another program and then travel. Or we need to attach a virus to some another program or that some program which is not a malware. A program or an application which is perfectly fine which is a regular software or a regular file which you, are, you and me are using. Now these viruses they get attached to these files or an attacker will purposely attach a virus to these files and once these files are initialized or they are triggered then virus will also trigger along with them. So a virus needs a human to trigger it. It just cannot trigger itself. While worms are little different, they are different than a virus. A worms, they can trigger themselves and they can try replicating themselves over the network and they can travel over the network without any external support. They don't need any particular file or an application to travel over the network. These worms can travel over the network by themselves. A Trojan horse is again very much different from a virus. A Trojan horse will look like a useful application. It will not harm your PC unless it is triggered by some external resource. A Trojan horses are self-programmed or sometimes they are controlled by some external entity. So till the time it is not triggered, it will work like a useful application. And once it is triggered and it will then start working. But virus is not like a Trojan horse. I would rather can say a Trojan horse can contain a virus inside. That means once triggered there could be a virus file in a Trojan horse file which can work and then destroy your PC. What a virus can do? A virus can delete your files, it can intercept your files, it can modify the data, it can completely use your system resources and do many much wrong to your machine. That's a virus. So we need to always understand that virus, worms, trojans, these all are different things. They are just not the same. Because whenever something goes wrong to our machine, we generally simply say, okay, there is a virus. But it could be a trojan and it could be a worm too. And there are many other malicious wares which might be there and we just think that it is just a virus. So that is the only small difference I would like to explain. Now let us uh, know the nature of a virus. Now here I am going to tell you different phases that a virus undergoes during its complete life cycle. So one of the phases is a dormant phase. A dormant phase is a phase when a virus sits idle. It does nothing. It just stays and awaits the command from its sender. There is another phase that is a propagation phase. Now in this phase, a virus will try to create its identical copy in the machine. So why to create its identical copy? Because one copy of a virus will remain this safe, it will not get affected in case it is caught by some another antivirus program. So a virus will remain 
safe. So, so to keep a virus safe, it creates its identical copy and that copy runs and it starts affecting. Then there is a triggering phase. Now in this phase, virus gets triggered by some external resource. Now when the virus is triggered, then it starts its functionality. And after the triggering phase, you have an execution phase. In the execution phase, the virus actually executes. Now, the execution phase could be of again two types wherein a virus is whether harming the PC and whether it is not harming the PC. For example, a virus when it is not harming, there might be some pop-up message which is coming on the screen and it says that you are being attacked and it is actually not doing anything. But there might be a chance when a virus is actually destroying your machine. So these are the four phases of virus. We will see different types of viruses. Now first of them is a parasitic virus, like a parasite. This is a kind of a virus which attaches itself to another program or to another application like a parasite. And whenever that program runs, the virus will also show its execution. Then you have a memory resident virus. This memory resident virus, it stays inside a particular memory and it will start affecting the memory and will start eating it up and it will affect each and every program which is there in that particular memory. For example, the C drive has been corrupted with this virus. That means all the files in that particular drive will get corrupted. Then you have a boot sector virus. Now boot sector virus is a virus which is functioning over the boot time. That means when your operating system starts, the virus will also start. It is there in an MBR or master boot record of a particular machine. Whenever your machine starts, whenever your application will start, your operating system will initialize, the virus files will also be initialized. After that, you have another type, which is a stealth virus. A stealth virus is a very uh, lovely one and one of my favorite because stealth virus is a kind of virus which hides itself from antivirus programs. It stays dormant and it doesn't let any antivirus program discover him. So that's a very different kind of virus. After that, there is another virus that is a polymorphic virus, polymorphic. That means a virus with a different forms. Every time the virus runs, it will change its signature and it will keep on mutating with the system settings and it will keep on changing its type or its signature. Now what will happen here? If one of the signature or one of the pattern of a virus is recognized by an antivirus program, next time it will not be. So it is a very wonderful one. Then you have a metamorphic. A metamorphic is somewhat like your polymorphic only, but there is a little difference. This in metamorphic, the only difference is it will keep changing the forms, but every time it changes the forms, it will increase its strength it will increase its strength so that an antivirus program will not be able to detect it. Last but not the least, email viruses. Now email viruses, these are the viruses which spreads via electronic mail or an email. Now these viruses could be sent by a sender via an email to you and then as soon as you open an email, your computer gets affected. Or there are certain email viruses which automatically sends themselves. So for example, if I have a virus, an email virus in my account, as I am opening an email and I am opening that email file, automatically it will pick up random contacts from my list and it will send one email to them. And that email could be anything. Uh, recently such kind of viruses were seen on social network also, when you get a message from someone and that message contains some video and then you try and click on it and automatically 
all the recipients which are already there with whom you have spoken or with whom you have done chat since last uh, 24 hours automatically it will start sending them messages on your behalf and you will not even come to know so how to stay safe or how to stay away from all these viruses the most important thing is i would advise you all of you that please install a proper antivirus program which is purchased licensed one install that antivirus program in your machine keep it updated try not to visit any of the random websites and whenever you receive any email it is always advisable don't open it directly first read the contents and if you feel that email is not from a proper sender kindly delete it or report it as spam also whenever you are using pen drives or external drives to your machine it is always advisable that scan them before you open thank you thank you for watching this